Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me. We are unboxing today from a company that I have not ordered from yet, so I thought it would be fun to share with you. Um, so today it's Burpee. I was pulled to their site because somebody had posted on what my Facebook page that they had David Austin's and I thought, huh, Burpee with David Austin's, let's check it out. I mean, I, I think of Burpee for seeds, but not really bare root roses. So anyways, um, let me tell you, before I get into this unboxing, my experience with the site, are you going to talk to the same person when you call? No, it's not a small business. They're rather large. Buying from their site, I compared notes with other people. It was kind of difficult. For some reason, when I was trying to buy, it would kind of get hung up. And I tried to click on a rose and it wouldn't go into the details for some reason. And then when I clicked submit, it didn't go through right away. So I clicked submit and I didn't get an order number. It just kind of hung. Then I had to go in and place a second order and the same thing happened. And so I called customer service on the phone and they were very nice. They helped me to put it in over the phone. So I wasn't actually able to order it online. They do have PayPal and the person that answered the phone was not able to help me understand if whether it was grafted or own root, but they were very kind. So let's get into the unboxing. I'm sure you want to see what this rose looks like. What am I expecting? I'm expecting three drift roses. I've been looking at adding drift roses to my garden and the white just looks so beautiful. I thought it would make a beautiful accent color in front of the roses. So let's check it out. What am I hoping for? So I'm going to put something on the screen. Please pause it if you need to. When we're unboxing your rose, we look for a few things. You'll see a little caveat to the right about... Uh, some of our vendors, that they don't specify the grade rows that they're selling. So just make sure that you understand what you're getting so that you're not disappointed. And that's part of the reason why I do these unboxings, so that you know what to expect size-wise. So we are looking for a grade one rose, which means it's got three canes the size of a pencil. We are looking to make sure that the canes are bright green and firm, and we're looking at that crown and making sure that that crown is firm and not soft. We're also looking for the roots and we're making sure that there's no growths like crown gall. We are making sure that it's stained moist in shipment. So here I am. Um, I'm looking here and just praying that the entire cane is enclosed in plastic so that it's stayed moist in shipment and I won't have to worry about it. Oh no. They have decided to not enclose the canes in plastic. So now we've seen, we saw um, one other vendor do that um, already this season. And what does that mean? It means that they might dry out in shipment. And I can tell you right now that these canes have dried out. I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen. I'm going to try to get closer. But even just when you feel the canes, you can tell that they are, are dry. They have a powdery appearance to them. Ugh. They're starting to flush out, so they have energy inside um, that they are pushing out. There's something that happens to the canes also. I'm going to get closer. Can you see how the canes kind of have a uh, lines that are, you can actually see the individual lines in the canes because they're just getting too dry. They're really thirsty right now. So let me pull out the, and, I, and I'm seeing that I got three white drift roses, and then I also got one other color. I'm not sure if I got apricot maybe, but let's check that out. Yeah, they've got, um, all of these canes have this very dry um, appearance with the lines showing up on the canes from just being so thirsty. These are also really bound up tight. Um, so I want to see what's going on. I can tell that this was snapped in shipment. So let's get in here real quick because I'm curious. I'd like to see how many canes I actually have and the quality of the roots. Okay, these are really tough to get into the way that they have tied them like this. That was a nightmare to get into that. I was worried about hurting the roots. So they're dry, but let's go ahead and first of all, let's unbind the top here. 
so I have a broken cane. This one is uh, completely broken and aged. This is not a grade one. I'm going to have to go back and reach out to them and ask them if they are selling grade one roses. And I'll put a note up here to let you know what I find out. But if you look at this, I have, I'll move it to the right here. I have one, two, and then this one over here, which is um, not the size of a pencil. So two canes the size of a pencil is a one and a, grade one and a half rose. I've got another snapped branch here. I think that they just, you know, they whatever happened in packaging. Let's look at the roots and make sure that we have a healthy rose here. This rose looks fine. Um, so the only complaint that I would have is that it is a grade one and a half versus a one. So let's wait and see what the vendor says. Um, and I might just let them know um, that, you know, the size that I'm seeing here. And if we're seeing across the board that they're all grade one and a half, well, then that tells us something. But otherwise, this, this one looks fine because it is so dry right now when I feel it. I'm going to make sure that the entire rose is submerged in water for 24 hours. And I may even just go a little bit longer than that um, to give it some more time. This one is Sweet Drift. All right, so let's get into the next one. I'm assuming this is a white. Yes, this is a white drift. This one is also dry. Uh, same situation. This, <laughs> this is a grade one and a half rose. I have one cane the size of a pencil, one cane the size of a pencil, and this itty bitty one back here that is not the size of a pencil. So I am feeling the rose itself. Looking at these, these look like uh, own root roses. So there's no softness in the canes, and now I'm looking at the roots just for any growths that should not be there. Thankfully, everything here looks good. So I'm just going to make sure that I soak this one. I'm going to keep this one aside so that I can keep my roses labeled and I know which ones are white. These look like body bags, don't they? Body bags are what they call the roses that you find in bags at, um, at box stores and they're taped up tight like this and you know you'll get differing opinions from people on whether or not you should buy one and I want to say that they call them body bags because um, they are inferior quality on their way to the morgue um, but there are so many people that have great luck with those so if that's all that's available in your area buy them. Um, there's a lot of people who love them. I think for me, I've just never found any in the bags that appealed to me, but you'll be, you won't be able to see what's going on in the bag itself when you buy it at the store, but you can definitely take a look at what's going on at, at the top of the rows. All right. So here we are again. This rose is a grade two rose. I mean, you're looking at all these canes and you're saying, how can you say that that's a grade two? Well, I'm looking for any cane the size of a pencil. Even though this is a drift rose and it's smaller, I've got, I've got a lot of really weird growths going on in the middle of it and it's all tangled up and weird. Um, but I only technically have one cane here. I'm trying to show you. One cane the size of a pencil. All of the rest of these are so tiny. Again, this is dry. All of the branches that are inside the shrub right now, all of this tangled mess, it needs to be cleaned up big time. A lot of it is damaged, curved. It's just going to get in the way. So now let me go ahead and look at what's going on with the roots. Thankfully, there is no gall on this, so uh, no growths. I'm just going to have to really soak these and pray that they're not too far gone from being so dehydrated in shipment. Okay, last one, guys. This has felt a little bit painful on this one just because I'm disappointed that they have dried out so much. Um, if they had enclosed the entire top, maybe, just maybe, but who knows? You know, I don't, I don't know. This one has a much larger 
root section and I'm saying that because it is um, the bag is larger and this one is a grade one surprise surprise um, because I see three canes the size of a pencil let's unbind it here it looks like it wants to flush out but I'm not sure you can tell they're really kind of dried out right now so hopefully by getting them in water that will help them but these are three canes the size of a pencil so this is a grade one rose i am looking now at what is going on with the roots to make sure that we don't have any growths or issues to report and it looks great what are my complaints right now um well the complaints would be questionable size so we have varying sizes i saw twos i saw one and a half i saw one grade one rows i would hope that if you're thinking about buying from them um, that you will make sure that we're watching the warranty um, let, let's get into all those details now um, about the warranty. They offer free shipping if it's over $75. There's actually a lot of discounts out there if you're thinking about buying from them. If you use Rakuten, it used to be called Ebates, you can go through Rakuten and get 2% off of your entire purchase through a rebate. Um, so free shipping over 75 You can also use PayPal on their site. And just in case you don't know, here's the general description of what a drift rose is. If you're searching for just the right ground cover rose, you have found it. Drift roses, a cross between standard ground cover roses and miniature roses, offer disease resistance, winter hardiness, extremely low maintenance, and repeat blooms. Drifts are perfect for those waves of luscious color you're looking for to fill your beds, borders, and containers. And there's eight color options available for drift roses. So I got the sweet drift and I got three of the white drift. So looking at the prices, they are $22 per rose. So there's a 20% coupon if you sign up on their site. And that 20% coupon can be used off of $60 plus on the site. Today, when I logged in to check, they had a 25% off site-wide, so that would trump that 20% coupon I was just talking about. And as I mentioned, you can use Rakuten for 2% back. So free shipping off of $75 for all of our rose vendors to make sure that we're taking into account any coupons or discounts that are available. We're saying if I buy five roses from this vendor, how much will it cost me? five roses at $22 using a 20% coupon is $88 and then there's free shipping as I mentioned so the total that we're going to use for the rack and stack is going to be $88 and if you look at that this is the most cost effective vendor that we can buy from so keep that in mind just make sure that you're watching that one year guarantee because if they're sending roses that may dry out it's a great price but we want to watch them really closely to make sure that they perform the way that we hope. So I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in the next one.